Hello Guardians, in today's video we're going to be going over this Void Titan build that I've put together. Uh, it's not very imaginative, I'll give you, like, you know, I'll say that right off the bat. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but I thought I would just explain it. So, let's get into the aspects and abilities and all that. So, we're starting off with Sentinel Shield. I, I personally don't want to use a bubble for this build. You can use bubble, but I, I think Sentinel. Uh, and we're going to be using Towering Barricade, Catapult, Lift, Shield Bash. You're going to need this for mobility because of otherwise you know currently i have 20 mobility and you know you don't move very fast in 20 mobility and then the void spike nade i feel like this is just a really good nade to zone people off with or like you know if i put a shield down and people are pushing me you know they're gonna have to shoot either the nade or myself and either way they're taking damage so and then bastion casting your super rinse over shield and this allows you to slowly gain an over shield while you're behind the shield and then offensive bulwark uh, and the reason we use offensive bulwark is because a lot of the time we are going to be behind our shield that's that's what this build is putting a shield down you're being annoying you have a basically the the shield the shoot through shield lasts for about 11 seconds and then six seconds after that you'll have another one up and we're going to be using echo of obscurity finishers grant final blow i'm not finishing anyone that's just for the extra 10 stability uh echo of leeching melee final blows start health regeneration for you and nearby allies that does have some synergy with the shoot through shield and offensive bulwark because you know i'm going to be playing that shield a lot and i will for sure have people pushing me and and then Echo of Expulsion, which also has some synergy with the shield and everything else. So, all right, and then we will get into my perks on my armor. I'm using a Resilience mod, Hand Cannon Targeting, Shotgun Targeting, Taking Charge, and then Sight and Ramparts, obviously for the Shoot th Through Shield, Recovery mod, Fastball, Hand Cannon Loader. On the chest piece, you know, flinching mods, resilience mod, boots, shotgun, scav, and a recuperation to get my health back on orbs. And then on the class item, two utility kickstarts and a high energy fire. So the reason I have the utility kickstarts is because those both take a second off of the shield. So my shield takes about 17 to 18 seconds to regen. And, you know, obviously when you put the shield down, it lasts there for like, you know, 10 or 11 seconds. That way, you know, it's the only thing in the game that pushes past 10 resale uh there, there's just nothing else in the game that does at the moment so like for example this uh perpetuation that doesn't do anything for some reason i it's kind of silly to me that utility kickstart is the only thing that kind of pushes past the 100 resale now just the kickstart mods i don't understand why you know that the mod on this doesn't but anyway that's just how the game works so and this build will make people hate you if you use this build you will be backed and if it's something you care about then proceed with caution but if you don't care if people bag you, then go crazy, put your shields down, shoot them through it, piss people off. Uh, but just be, be cautious of that because I used this build for like an hour on stream and I got bagged like several times, like every game. By, and people were just not happy about it. So anyway, let's get right into a gameplay. I'll show you a little bit of just, you know, how I use it and how it works. Although I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, but you know, give you guys a little gameplay with it. If you didn't see me using it on stream, obviously. So let's get right into it, boys. Wear yours well. I do I do be putting shields down quite a bit in in this, I'm sure. Uh, we're gonna get this C flag and then I'm I'm gonna head towards B because I can't really go A. Because A A is gonna be long range engagements and currently I am not long range, so I'm gonna make my way towards B here. Kind of set up and get this flag so we get a double cap. And uh, just kind of wait. Oh, looks like we got a guy challenging us. Uh, I guess I didn't three tap him. I thought I three tapped him. Okay, I'm gonna look. Oh, oh my god! I don't know what's going on. All right, I definitely didn't three tap that guy. Uh. kill that guy. I don't know why he even shot at me. That was very strange. That's one thing you'll notice a lot. A lot of people will, like, shoot at your shield. When, like, I mean, you're, you're not doing anything to me, man. You're shooting me the last word, and you're hitting my shield for, like, 30 damage. I'm gonna galley that guy. Oh, I'm gonna get fucked up by my galley. There's a guy with a fusion behind me. He is chasing me down hard. I'm gonna just get all over that guy. I think there's a guy behind me, though. Kill him. An inspiration. I'm gonna throw a nade on that wall. See if I get that kill. I'm hitting something. Ooh, fried him. Fried him down. Gonna clean up the kill on that guy. Gonna push up on these pillars here. 
put a shoot through down here. Let's play this angle. Melt that guy down. I'm gonna have my shield up, you know, in another couple seconds here. Head over towards B. I still have this OS. Oh, that guy bodied me. I'm gonna get just up in his shit. It's not even... Give him a second to breathe. He didn't even know I was behind him. It's all over him. I'm gonna push towards... C here? I'm gonna put a shoot through shield in this tunnel. Oh, they broke it. They broke my shield. I'm gonna back up. Oh. Oh, he's gonna throw a grape at me? No mercy for opponents weaker than Oh me. shit, I might die! Oh my god, fuck. Is all of them, it appears. Alright, I'm gonna oop. Come on. Someone's pushing me. I'm gonna fry that guy down. Put a shoot through shield here. Hook him, nothing he can do about that. I'm just on him. Oh, I'm gonna get that guy one shot. I am gonna chase because I am a lunatic. Zone C captured. The fires are lit. Find your prey. And, and I'm probably gonna die here actually. Oh my god. Alright, no, we're gonna clean that up, even though that was very sketch. Oh, I'm gonna put a shield down here on the stairs. That was not a good shield. I'm gonna throw a nade on this wall. That was also a horrible nade. Let's try to clean this guy up with my primary. I'm gonna get him. Get a little bit of an OS there. The flames oh, they're burning cold. me down with a fucking a pulse or some shit. I do have my shoot through shield up. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put it down here on these stairs. Kind of wait for people to group up. That did not kill anyone. I'm lucky. Kill that guy. Push over to this hunter. Kill him as well. Throw my shield at this other guy. I'm gonna head towards A. Hello, hello. Oh. Get that guy one shot. I believe there's a guy to my left. There is a guy. Shock on him. And uh, that's game. And that is all she the wrote sun. for these guys. When this city falls again, and Clean this guy up my primary and GG to them. That was just a burn down. We'll need you. And what you can anyway, do. I think uh, that gameplay kind of right. showed how strong this is. It's a really, really potent build. Um, mind you, these guys just got kind of ran, but moral of the story, you are able to lock down zones and lock down areas that you probably wouldn't be able to lock down on any other character or any other class or any other setup. So, and you do that shit easily. So, hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.